disagree with about anything is evil incarnate and every argument goes from zero to homicide. Doesn't even have to be about anything important or consequential. You insulted gossip girl, prepare to die. <laughs> There's a moment in my stand-up act these days where I ask the audience rhetorically, what should happen to all of the people who enabled Trump when he was in office? And about half the time, someone shouts out, kill them or hang them. You know, besides the fact that wishing people dead is a terrible place for your mind to be, if you're wishing them dead, you can be sure they're wishing you dead. Do you want a real war, liberals? Really? You think you're going to win the I want you dead war? You're not. You're going to lose. They have way more guns and they know how to use them. <laughs> and with all due respect, no one can do hate like a right-wing conservative. <laughs> This past Saturday, I was in the great city of Pittsburgh, PA, and the man who drove me in from the airport was from Bosnia. He was there in Sarajevo in 1984 when they had the Olympics. And he left sometime after that city became a war-torn hellscape. And he said to me, what I am seeing happening here now is exactly what I saw in Bosnia. Next door neighbors who despise each other. He was telling me that hate on this level can only be sustained for so long before becoming actual war. Last year, a, war, a warehouse blew up in Beirut, Lebanon. Everyone agreed it was an accident. But last week, there was a march calling for the removal of the judge investigating the incident. And it turned into a street fight with automatic rifles and rocket-propelled grenades. Over that most emotional of all issues, warehouse safety, because when people despise each other, it doesn't matter what the issues are. When someone hates you, they don't hear what you're saying, let alone want to work with you on an issue. Today's Republicans don't have issues. Oh, they have issues. <laughs> Just not like the ones they used to have. Balanced budget. They care about that about as much as they care about the new season of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Owning the libs is the only issue. Obamacare wasn't a horrible or radical policy. It was desperately needed by many of the people who fought it. But it came from, but it came from the people they hated. Democrats keep thinking they can win over voters who hate them with better policies. You're dreaming. Democrats are always asking, why do Republicans vote against their economic interests? Because they hate you. Comedians know this syndrome very well. You can have an act that kills in a good way. But if you insult the audience, if you make them hate you, dead silence. They will not give you that laughter. And if they don't laugh, it's not comedy. It's alternative comedy. <laughs> How do we stop Trump and the coup? Take it down a notch. Can we start with that? Is that really so hard? I know, I know it would be easier if everyone bad would just die. But that's not a plan and they're not going to. It's up to all of us, right, left, and center, to fix this by de-escalating. So here's everybody's first assignment. Captain Kirk was blasted into space last week and yes, you could use that to make a point about how we need to tax the super rich more, or how we still have problems on Earth, or toxic masculinity. Yeah, you could. But how about this? Don't. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it that William Shatner, national treasure, spirit animal to virgins, and I assume reverse mortgage salesman went for a rocket ride and came back. Not everything has to be political. You want to heal America? Shut the fuck up for a while. <laughs> Facebook went down for six hours a couple of weeks ago. We need to make that happen more. All right, that's our show. I'll be at the Lyric Theater in Baltimore tomorrow.